We'll come back to a second method on how to answer the given question. In this video, we'll show how to use the T84 to solve this problem. So we're given the maintenance department at the main campus of a large state university receives daily requests to replace fluorescent light bulbs. The distribution of the number of daily requests is bell-shaped and has a mean of 49 and a standard deviation of 11. So because we have a bell-shaped distribution, this is a normal distribution. Because the mean is 49, we know mu equals 49. And because the standard deviation is 11, we know sigma equals 11. We're asked to use the 68, 95, 99.7 rule, or in this video we'll use the T84 to determine the approximate percentage of light bulb replacement requests numbering between 16 and 49. So if we let x be equal to the number of requests, we want to determine the probability of percent that x is greater than 16 and less than 49. And this is really all we need in order to find this percentage on the T84. Even though we'll also show how to find this percentage using z-scores as an alternative. So we'll first go to the T84 and we're going to press second vars to access the distribution menu. We want to select option two, normal CDF. So we press two. Now if you don't see this screen, don't panic. That means you have an older 84 or an 83. And after we enter the information here, I'll show you what you need to do. But if you do have this screen, we first want to enter the lower x value, which in this case is 16. So 16, enter. The upper x value is 49, so 49 enter. Mu is the mean, which we know is 49. Enter. Sigma is 11, so 11 enter. And on paste, we press enter. Now if you did not have the previous screen, you just have to enter all the information on the home screen. Notice if I scroll to the left, normal CDF is here on the home screen, which if you have the older version, once you select this from the distribution menu, it shows on the home screen, and then you'd have to enter 16, comma, 49, comma, 49, comma, 11. The only difference is on this version, the newer version, there's an extra screen to help enter these values in the correct order. But now if we press enter, it does give us the percent that we're looking for expressed as a decimal. So notice how to four decimal places, this will be approximately 0.4987. or as a percentage, this would be 49.87%. In the previous example, when we used the empirical rule, we came up with 49.85%, and the difference is the calculator is a little more accurate. Now a second method to find this percentage would be to calculate the z-score for both 16 and 49. And let's also show that. Remember, the z-score indicates how many standard deviations a particular data value is away from the mean. So for x equals 16, the z-score would be equal to 16 minus the mean divided by the standard deviation, which is equal to negative 33 divided by 11, or negative 3, which indicates that 16 is three standard deviations below the mean. And then we should recognize for x equals 49, the z-score would be zero because 49 is the mean, but we'll go ahead and show it. We'd have 49 minus 49 divided by 11, which equals zero. So another way to express the same percentage or probability would be to say the probability of percent that the z-score is greater than negative three and less than zero. And we can also calculate this percent or probability on the T84. But remember, when we have z-scores, mu, the mean, would be equal to zero, and sigma, the standard deviation, would be equal to one. So going back to the calculator, let's go ahead and press second var for the distribution menu, option two. And now for lower, we're going to enter the lower z-score of negative three, enter. The upper z-score is zero, so zero, enter. And again, because we have z-scores, mu would be zero, and sigma would be one. And go down to paste, press enter. Again, if you have the older version, you'd have to enter negative three, comma zero, comma zero, comma one, 
close parenthesis, and then press enter. And notice how we get the same value. So 0 0.4987, which would be 49.87%. I hope you found this helpful.